this item that we're about to go pull up on is actually paid for completely by a government contract. Bruh, this is crazy. They gotta stick it. <laughs> it ain't no joke. This is different, bruh. This is different. This is, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. This is, this is amazing. Our subs charging us 25K a year. We're building the government 90K a year. So you guys do the math on that. All right, let me not wreck my car like two seconds out. These cars is flying. Back in 2020, I got started in government contracting. I was actually a school teacher before that. I taught special education. You know, the whole thing, COVID happened and I got, I got sent home. And I was like, man, I need something to do. Luckily, I found government contracting and it's absolutely changed my life. You guys might've seen me on social media. You see me traveling here. You see me going there. You might've even seen me like do something special for my mom, right? <laughs> no, I'm serious. <laughs> I thought you, I thought you knew the water. <laughs> but you know what's funny? I'll even show you guys. That old boy right there, that's a 2018 Ford Fusion. I'll be honest with you guys. I've been loving, that's my car, paid off, enjoying that car. I think it's time to like, you know, do something good for myself. So stay tuned. So we are on our way to go get something really cool, as you guys will see in here in a little bit. But I want to give you guys um, my mindset a little bit, you know. When I got started with this, it was back in 2020, as I said. And as I said before, I was a school teacher. I was teaching special education. I had taught special ed for eight years. That's my background, that's my passion, that's what I love to do. Um, and as I said before, as we all know, COVID happens, they sent us home. And I was like, you know what? I gotta find something else to do with my time and my, you know, to make money. Like, I love what I do as, as my school teacher. Maybe you love what you do and your passion, what you do. Maybe you are, a police officer, maybe you're in the military, maybe you're a firefighter, maybe, you're, you know, whatever, and you love what you do, that's that's okay. I love what I did. I want to be very clear. Some people on social media are always bashing jobs. Oh, forget jobs, forget jobs. I, I'm not bashing jobs. I just wanted something more. So long story short, I heard about government contracting. I was like, what is this government contracting thing? And I had tried a bunch of stuff, y'all. I tried, I tried affiliate marketing. I tried, um, I looked into drop shipping, I looked into Amazon, I looked into crypto, just like you guys. I was looking into so many different things, but I couldn't find anything that met my skill sets. And it wasn't until I found like actually pallet flipping. Some of y'all might not know my story, but I was actually a guy that went out there and bought a truck and I was out there pallet flipping. I was out there basically going up to companies and saying, hey, you got these wooden pallets, can I take them off your hands? And I would take them to another company and I would sell those pallets. So that was like my little hustle while I was school teaching. And I was making good money doing that. But here's the one thing we, we know about Ohio. It gets cold. <laughs> I'm wearing a sweater right now. It's not fun to be out there hustling that way. And I knew I had different skill sets. So for me guys, it was like a mindset thing. It was like, well, I got skill sets. I know I can do something better. What can I do? And it was when I found government contracting. You know, I was, I was scrolling to the internet, watched a YouTube video by my mentor, Jason White. And it was like, hey, you can make six and seven figures a year from home with these skill sets of like copy and paste, sending emails, get on the phone, not being out in the cold. And I said, yeah, let me try that. Let me, let me invest in myself. And I'll be totally honest with you guys. Um, I invested in myself. I paid for mentorship. I paid for coaching. I, I paid for knowledge because I said, if this person knows what they're doing and they've won these contracts, then I mean, if I just follow what they're doing, I have the same results. So long story short, uh, what happened was in my first 30 days, some of y'all gonna be shocked by this, I won my first government contract. And it was because I followed a proven system. I said, wait a second, I gotta find the opportunity. Okay, it was Catholic priests. This is gonna blow y'all mind. As y'all might have heard me say, I was a school teacher. I'm not ordained. I'm not Catholic. I live in Ohio. Uh, the contract that I won was for Catholic services in the federal prison in California. California. And I know something that should blow your guys' mind because it blew my mind. I was like, wait a second. Every time this person goes into the federal prison and does a Catholic service, every hour he's there, I get paid. I said, wait a minute. Something that this is this is just too good. This is this is amazing. And here's the funny thing. I think. I think this is gonna blow you guys' mind as well. 
I didn't get rich off my first contract. My first contract, what was it? I think the quote was like $20 an hour and I charged the government $25 an hour. And he only works a couple hours a month. <laughs> so it's not like it was a crazy amount of money, but the fact that I was making that money when he went to the prison, I thought that was really cool. So I said, okay, this makes sense. This is real. This is a real business. Like I see how I can make this work. And I kinda, I'm kind of skipping ahead a little bit, but now I think about it, I think it's gonna help you guys out a lot mindset wise is um, back to your experience. I'm not Catholic. I'm not ordained. I don't live in California, but yet I still won the contract because I've learned a system that you can partner with other companies. You can partner with other individuals and then you can do government contracts with them. So that was my first contract. And I'll just, I'll fast forward to like another contract that might blow your guys' mind. That was a small one, very small, but the next one was $450,000. <laughs> now, that's not all my money. That's not my profit. You know, that's not profit. That's the award amount. But the next one was 450,000. The profit was about 50K on that contract. And it was for uh, HVAC cleaning in Las Vegas, actually. It was in uh, Boulder. I think it's called Boulder. Not Colorado, but it was like, a, I forget the name of the area, but it was, it was in Las, outside of Las Vegas. So um, it was for HVAC cleaning. I still have that contract to this day. It's a five-year contract. You know, some of you guys will learn about that here later. Um, the way you can do government contracting, it could be one year, it could be two years, it could be, it could be five years, depending on what you're bidding on. Um, but I still got that contract to this day. So I say that to say this, um, I've never been a flashy guy on, on social media, and I'm, I'm probably never going to be. I don't, I don't plan to be. But I do want to let you guys know that this item that we're about to go pull up on is actually paid for completely by a government contract. All right, what's up, family? You could probably could tell where we are, so you probably know what type of car we're going to get. But we're going to go in there, finalize some paperwork. You know, because of government contracting, guys, life is different, so we get to have some fun. So let's go in there and check it out. <laughs> Let's do it. Right. I don't know. <laughs> oh my God, man. Oh, probably the key. Ooh, what was that? Was the car, bro? Ooh. Oh my God. So the foundation model. That's the only one that has the cyber truck on the itching on there. I got the white interior here. Ooh! My gosh! Bruh. Charging point. This is different, bruh. This is different. This is, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. This is, this is amazing. I can't believe it. Actually sitting in the car that's mine. I only got 11 miles on it. It's got 96% charge, so we get the road. <laughs> the lights in there too oh bro this is here we go foundation foundation series y'all look at the size of these tires <laughs> this is a truck truck this is a truckity truck right here this this is a real truck but yeah, y'all, this is this this is this amazing uh, achievement. Now again, I'm not doing this to impress y'all. I'm doing this to impress upon y'all that when you actually work hard at something, you can reward yourself. Like I've had this on my vision board for a little while now, and now I finally got it. I want you guys to do the same by actually striving for more. Even even if it's not government contracting, strive for more of what you're doing, so you can have amazing things like this. Here you go, the sticker. Ain't no joke. Y'all want to see that sticker? They got to stick it. <laughs> it ain't no joke. <laughs> That's how you make smart business decisions. Like, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. All my live, all my content is from this truck. Like, yes, this truck is paid for by a government contract. We just were discussing earlier. I had a contract that I won. Our subs charging us 25K a year. We're building the government 90K a year. So you guys do the math on that. But even outside of government contracting, just so you guys know how to do business, it's like, this is a business expense. This bad, this bad boy about to be wrapped in contract in blue, uh, the contract in blue, blue. Uh, so we're going to wrap it. We're going to have fun with it. We're going to do a lot of content with it. 
when you guys come to our next uh, event, our next live, I'm turning this music off. When you guys come to our next event, this truck will be there in person, don't matter what. If I got to ship it there, I'll pay for it. I will ship the truck there. It'll be parked up front. You guys will be able to see it and hop in until you want. Ain't no engine. He said, where the engine at? <laughs> He's like, what? It's, a, it's electric. This is a trunk. It's a front. There's no, there's, the, everything that powers the car is underneath. It's a bat, it's a huge battery. This is, this is just a chill, you know, tailgate type of deal, hang out. It's just, this is it. it ain't, tailgate on the front gate. Chill day on the front gate, that's it. But yeah, man, maintenance wise, all I gotta do, put my window washing fluid in there. That's it, no oil changes. No oil changes. No, oil changes. no never do. There's no oil, there's no engine. <laughs> this is it, look. Window washer fluid, that's it. Put window washer that's fluid, that's it, it's all electric. It's quiet, ain't it? It's quiet. Man, that's so quiet. You don't hear nothing. All right. Where should we ball out and go? <laughs> where, where are we going? This is, this is it. I mean, this is an amazing vehicle. I'm excited. Um, it's still just a material thing. Hey, it is what it is. To be honest with y'all, it's still a material thing, but I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I got it. We're going to have some fun with it. Um, and if you guys want to get stuff like this, again, the reason we put this video together is not to impress you. It's, a, it's to impress upon you that you can take care of yourself. As you guys may or may not know, I had a 2018 Ford Fusion. I've had it since 18. I've been doing government contracting since 2020. I've been awarded over $4 million in government contracts before doing anything like this. You know what I'm saying? So I, I've never really treated myself. Like my first car I got was for my mom. If you guys remember, I bought my mom a BMW, wanted to take care of her, make sure that she was happy. And I just drive my car, because as you guys know, we don't go anywhere. So I also don't drive. I'm on a plane more than I'm in a car. <laughs> so <laughs> I didn't have a reason, but hey, I said, why not? Let's get it. Here it is. Here it is. Whew. All right, let me not wreck my car like two seconds out. These cars is flying. Yeah, they really were. Can a brother get out first without wrecking the car? Now, I've seen some horror stories. People get their Teslas in. Is wrecked down the street. Ooh. Smooth, smooth. I ain't gonna let me accelerate because I'm just trying to chill. I'll be honest with y'all. When I first got into government contracting, you know, I was like you guys. I thought about it as a side hustle. You know, people think, oh, let me just go make a little bit of money. Let me just go, you know, replace my, you know, full time income. And it, it's not until you like really think bigger that it was like whoa wait a second you know I met my, my second mentor shout out Jonathan Howard if you're watching I met my second mentor and he was like Wesley I double and triple prices I say wait what you double and triple prices like he said yeah you, we're in this business to make money not just to not just to make a couple hundred dollars here a couple hundred dollars here it's like people got to realize this isn't a this isn't a hustle guys government contracting is not a side hustle so that's, a, that's what people get wrong all the time. People hear about, you know, crypto and Amazon and everyone's treating stuff like a hustle. This is not a hustle. It's a business. And I was like, oh, okay. And with business comes like big rewards and big profits. So I didn't, I did not think about the Cybertruck buying it. I did not like, you know, when I first got started, you know, back in, again, I got started in 2020. So it's 2024 as we're recording this, but I got started in 2020. Did not think it would come to this. <laughs> so, man, it's, it's amazing. Amazing feeling. Amazing feeling. Yeah. Know why you're doing it. You know, definitely know why you're doing it. Like I said before, my, my why was not this car. I mean, I, am I enjoying this car? Do I love this car? Heck yeah. But it, it wasn't my why. But if, if, you, if your why is this car, that's fine. Put it on your vision board. You know, have your vision. But I'll tell you guys, I learned this um, in business way back when. They said why actually stands for something. Why means what hurts you. So I, I even say it like this, if your why don't make you cry, then it's not deep enough, okay? So you gotta have a why in business and life that's gonna push you through the hard times. 
So when you call a subcontractor and they're rude, it's like you still got your why in your head. Or when you you lose a contract, I mean, we have people lose contracts by $100. I mean, multi six-figure contracts. And you're like, oh my goodness, I just lost a six-figure contract by $100? Listen, don't get depressed. Don't, don't beat yourself up. Your why has got to push you. Your why is what hurts you. So just write that down. Keep that in mind that if, if your why is not big enough, it's not going to get you through the struggles. And again, I've shared before that my why was, you know, my mom. And it's still my mom. My mom, my family, everyone. Like, my why was because it's like, I want to be able to show her that we can make this happen. We can do things in a big way. You know, my, why, my mom has always been big on education. So obviously I went to school, got my bachelor's, got my master's, got my doctorate. Um, but I also wanted to show her that education is one thing but you also can make a lot of money in business so that's kind of like why i'm doing this do you want to know how to make six and seven figures a year in government contracting do you want to know how to actually do the middleman strategy and work with me and my team of coaches if you do all you got to do is book a phone call with us you can book a phone call at www.thecontractingblueprint.com it should be on the screen somewhere maybe above me www.thecontractingblueprint.com is also linked below. So what we'll do is we'll do a free 45 minute to hour phone call. I take some of the phone calls as I can. My team members take the phone calls. And what we'll do is we'll make sure you understand the middleman strategy and it will tell you about our services. If we're a good fit for you, if you're a good fit for us, we hope so. If we are, then we'll help, we'll help you guys win your first contract as well. So if you're interested, book a free phone call at the link above or below, and I'll see you guys there. All right, peace.